Chapter 23 today. Then Job replied, Even today my complaint is rebellion. His hand is heavy, despite my groaning. Oh, that I knew where I might find him, that I might come to his seat. I would present my case before him and fill my mouth with arguments. I would learn the words which he would answer and perceive what he would say to me. Would he contend with me by the greatness of his power? No, surely he would pay attention to me. There the upright would reason with him, and I would be delivered forever from my judge. So Job wanted to turn to God if he could find him so that he could present his case to him. He did not realize that God's been with him this entire time. Verse 8, Behold, I go forward, but he is not there, and backward, but I cannot perceive him. When he acts on the left, I cannot behold him. He turns on the right, I cannot see him. But he knows the way I take. When he has tried me, I shall come forth as gold. My foot has held fast to his path. I have kept his way and not turned aside. I have not departed from the command of his lips. I have treasured the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. So back to the defense again of his upright ways. But he is unique and who can turn to him and what his soul desires that he does. For he performs what is appointed for me and many such decrees are with him. Therefore, I would be dismayed at his presence. When I consider, I am terrified of him. It is God who has made my heart faint and the Almighty who has dismayed me. But I am not silenced by the darkness nor deep gloom which covers me. So he's not quitting on his attempts to find the Lord even though his thoughts on him are incorrect. Well, as I've mentioned, this will all come together towards the end of the book. We're going to go ahead and move into prayer time now, and we're going to continue on with the theme of uh, joy and hope, praying for those. All right. Lord, we come before you humble and grateful for another day, exalting you for your love, mercy, power, and righteousness. We need you every step of the way in our lives, and we ask that you be with us and guide us in this day. Lord, as we pray through and meditate on your words right now, please let them soak into our souls and live actively as part of who we are. May our lives be a testimony of joy and hope because of you. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 28. The hope of the righteous brings joy, but the expectation of the wicked will perish. Psalm chapter 5, verse 11. But let all who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them ever sing for joy and spread your protection over them, that those who love your name may exalt in you. James chapter 1, verses 2 through 3. Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. Looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. So it was a joy to Jesus to do away with our curse of sin. Good point to lock in our brains there. Uh, Psalm chapter 33, verse 21. For our heart is glad in him, because we trust in his holy name. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 19. If in Christ we have hope in this life only, we are of all people most to be pitied. Galatians chapter 5, verse 5. For through the Spirit, by faith, we ourselves eagerly wait for the hope of righteousness. And Titus chapter 1, verse 2. In hope of eternal life, which God, who never lies, promised before the ages began. Lord, may your promises resound in our minds and hearts always. Please keep us from doubt, wavering, and and focusing on negative thoughts, which according to your word is sinful. Our minds should be set on things above, even in the midst of difficulty. And we ask you to sustain, um, excuse me, we ask you to sustain us in this way of thinking and, living, and to live by the power of your spirit. We love you, Lord. We thank you for the gift of joy and hope that comes from you. We ask that you forgive our sins and deliver us from evil today. And we pray these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. We love you, Lord. Thank you guys for being here. And uh, let's, let's go out and, and make it happen today. Keep on keeping on. And uh, Lord willing, I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you.